Am I on? Yep, go ahead. All right, guys. Uh, injuries. Uh, Mohurst out. Greenlaw out. Aziz out. Hufanga doubtful. Uh, Garoppolo doubtful. And Mitchell uh, questionable. Go ahead. Uh, Kyle, so uh, are you ready to announce that Trey Lance will start against the Texans? And then what is Garoppolo's outlook for next week and beyond? Uh, no, I'm not ready to announce that. I mean, Jimmy's not out, so I'm holding out hope. Um, and what was your uh, next week? I mean, he's got a chance this week, so he'll have a better chance next week. Kyle, will you have to bring Nate Sudfeld up and, and have him as your backup this week, or at least potentially? Uh, yeah, potentially. We were able to flex him um, with the COVID flex, um, so we got him up for that just in case. Hey, uh, Kyle, was, you know, we didn't see Jimmy throw. Was he able to throw uh, at all this week, and, and if so, how did that go? Um, we, that's, why, that's why we didn't have him go out there and have him at this way because we're, we're told each day that we can – push it off a, a one more it gives him a better chance for it to stay so we're trying to hold it throwing until um tomorrow possibly sunday it's way too long kyle, to be staring you, at your branch <laughs> kyle how did uh how did trey lance perform in practice this week he had a good week real good week Hey, Kyle, you said, sorry, coming back at you. Uh, you said whatever day it was that Jimmy does not need surgery right now. Does that indicate he will need at some point, obviously after the season, to have, have that surgically repaired? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, they said that they don't think he needs surgery. That doesn't mean that it can't get worse and stuff that you may need it. So I'm not sure about that. Um, but he doesn't need surgery right now. And I, from what I'm told, I don't think he'll need it after the season. But there's always possibilities. After we talked to you on Wednesday, you guys signed Tyler Bray to the uh, practice squad. What what was the thing, thinking behind that, and what do you like about Bray? Um, I mean, I, that he's been in this league, um, that he's been around. You know, I remember watching him when he came out. I've always liked how he throws. Um, I've heard really good things about him from other coaches. Uh, we thought it was necessary to do that, having a guy questionable whether to play this week, starting out the week, um, all the stuff that's going on with COVID, too. Um, things can get pretty bad pretty fast um as everyone's seen so um you can't be prepared enough for that and kyle what, what's kind of the uh the confidence level you sense uh with the team around uh when they see trey out there at quarterback i mean do they do you feel that they don't need to do something extra that they believe in him enough where they can just focus on doing their job that they don't have to circle the wagons and, and help prop up a rookie yeah i think so i mean i think anytime um, you have a, a, a new player playing with the team in terms of a guy who hasn't been out there much because it's tough at the quarterback position. You don't usually play two. Um, so anytime you guys and a rookie, uh, you want to do everything you can to help the guy out and make it easier. And to me, you guys are locked in and um, they're helping him out on walkthroughs and stuff like that. But besides that, um, I don't think anyone thinks they, they got to do anything extra. I think guys believe in Trey. Um, you know, I think guys expect him to go out there and play well. Um, by no means, like everyone, is he going to play perfect. Um, but I think the guys, I mean, they got to see him Arizona week. They've got to see him this week in terms of how he handles himself. And I think that week, and it's even stronger this week, I mean, he, he knows how to handle the part. He knows how to get in the huddle. He takes command. Um, his preparation is very impressive. And um, I think that gives the guys a lot of confidence in him. I know you said Elijah Mitchell was questionable, I believe. How did he get through the week, and, and what kind of usage could he have if, if he was available? Um, I, I, you know, yesterday I thought was his best day that he's had just for a Thursday. That's really the only day this time of year we're going full speed, and uh, he was able to get more reps than he has um, since this has happened to him. So I think that's very encouraging, uh, especially when he does that. You know, he, he today he didn't feel worse, um, which was the key, and, um, he was able to get some today. Hopefully that'll continue all the way up to Sunday. But, um, I mean, we'll play Elijah as much as he can handle. Um, so that's about watching him, watching how his legs work, communicating with him, um, which is really what Bobby does throughout the game. And um, when he's tired, if he's going, Bobby doesn't hesitate. He puts Jeff in there. Um, we have a number of guys we can put in there. Um, 
medical question. Uh, as has been explained to you, since he has a torn you know, ligament in his thumb, does time give him, like, is it a matter of he gets better range of motion, he has less pain? Like, do you know exactly, perhaps not exactly, but in what ways Jimmy can um, improve and be able to throw, you know, given rest? Yeah, I'm getting really close to never talking about injuries again. Um, very close. But I've told you guys everything I know. I'll try to say it the same way again. Um, the ligament's torn. The more you can heal, the better it has a chance to relatch. Um, the quicker you go back, the more it doesn't relatch. Those, if that's, that's the word I understand. So that's about all I know. I'm sure you'll get one more, though. <laughs> You guys good? All right. So go ahead, Cam. Last one. Hey, Kyle, uh, are you guys kind of under the assumption that you might get flexed into the Saturday game next week since the NFL hasn't assigned those teams? I, I guess it's a guessing game, but are you kind of braced for that if that's the case? Honestly, I haven't even thought about it um, until you just asked that, which I guess that does make sense. Um, but I haven't thought past this game. Um, it's – they're all big, but we know how big this one is. So if that happens, great. We'll be we'll be ready for it. All right. Thank you guys. All right, guys. Thanks.